These three poor men, we keep seducing them and then telling them to get out. Long live Queen Daisy of Iceland, married to a man who is too far away for her to actually even talk to. Because, you know, that makes total sense. <laughs> Some count over here in Kulm. But that's okay. She's also married to him regularly, which is not so cool, but it's fine because we have Tana Street. So yeah, let's go seduce our this bastard. He looks like a, a uh, good choice. Gormgus. Come here, Gormgus. You will be mine. Ooh, let's, uh, let's confess our love. Uh, Vitty Vitty Vitchy. Vitty Vitchy Vitty. <gasps> Nephew! Nephew, what do you think you're doing? Trying to, uh, blackmail me. Actually, not just trying, succeeding. Great. Being great, our great harbor is 28% done. How about you? You're engaged to marry our heir. Let's seduce you. You're nice and attractive. Come on, Mr. Scottish man. You will be mine. I mean, especially since, you know, Scotland kind of doesn't exist. And... Uh, Christianity's kind of dying down here. I need more practice, apparently. Come on. Oh, yes, my heir. You deserve greatness. Be ambitious. You are lovely. And, uh, let's confess our love to this man. Ah, dude, your virtue's strong. Come on. Quote love poetry? Dude. Dude, give in to it. Lewd suggestion. That's what it took. Yes. Vinny, vinny, vinny. Come on, get us pregnant. We're 35. We're running out of time. Um, let's go seduce our, sedu our steward again. Come on, Gormgus. You will be mine. We need a baby with the proper bloodline, and then we'll try to give them in heritage here. Come on. Confess my love. Yes. How about our chaplain? Let's go seduce our chaplain. Sure. Christo. Christo. Count Christo? No. <laughs> <laughs> it will be worth it. Yes, he's a man of the cloth. For some time now, my husband, King Bitchell, has been overcome with fatigue and trouble by a persistent cough. No one informed that his symptoms were due to pneumonia. Call my court physician at once. Wait, but I can't even talk to him. How is my court physician going to help him? Meet in my room, my lord. Yes. Come on. We'll go sleep with another man. We'll go... Oh, we'll do a circle. We'll go sleep with our heirs. Betrothed. There we go. Come on. You will be mine. You will be mine. Seek an ally among his friends. Uh, make a little suggestion. Yes. One of these has got to get him pregnant. I mean, we could take him as lovers, but that doesn't spike the chance. We need a child. Come, give us a child. Please, that's all we desire in life is a child. These poor three- these three poor men, we keep seducing them, and then telling them to get out. <gasps> and we're a child. Good news, darling. Yes. I mean, could her husband really believe it was his, considering he's all the way over here in Colm? You know, it's like Ulm, but not quite a school. N.O.P. Good news, darling. Good news. At first, the signs were small, easily dismissed as coincidences, but now they are becoming too frequent to be ignored. I will give birth under auspicious stars. I am surely blessed. Good, good. Young Rose has finished her education in the ways of intrigue, and it is with pride that she has attained nothing less than a masterful level of knowledge. We have a terrifying heir. She also looks fat, but she's not fat. I guess she's just very sturdy. Okay. Go on, get married. And we did have another daughter, but of course she's in our f husband's court. You know, we can talk to her husband. And yet, somehow, we manage to, you know, have a baby and transport them all the way across the sea to calm. CK2, sometimes you do things that make no sense, but, you know, our children were taken from us. It is a terrible thing. Petunia Nygmail, our half-sister, has been telling everyone that she saw me and Gormgus making love. The scandal is a fact. Ah, well, it is the Middle Ages. Petunia, don't 
don't you understand? We're trying to do this for the good of the bloodlines. Maybe. Ooh. Well. We're pregnant again. And we've now become lustful. Good for us. Bother. The number of good dresses that I'm still able to wear is growing increasingly smaller as my pregnancy takes its course. God, I know how that is. Perhaps I should have worn new clothes to be tailored on my current measurements. If I list, I could still wear some of my old dresses. Yes, let's do it. Did we become stressed? Nope, nope. Look at that. We're doing great. And we had a son. But of course we can't even name him. <sighs> Stupid husband. We get pregnant, and then he dies while we're pregnant. But that's not likely. Oh well. You know what I just said about him dying while we're pregnant? Of course he died right after we gave birth. And we can't even interact with our own children. Granted, if our daughter dies, we're apparently the heir here. Okay. Alright, I suppose we need a new husband. We go. We married this nice young brother. I mean, he's seven years younger than us. It's actually not too bad. He's very learned. We like his education. And we're still seducing people. Wait. Wait a minute. I asked King Hilrian of Iceland to help me woo Christo. But he was not in the least sympathetic. Well, maybe because he's our husband? In fact, I got the sense he will be keeping an eye on me from now on. Um, maybe don't ask your husband to help you seduce your, seduce your chaplain. Um, yeah, that's probably not the best decision, Daisy. It's really not. It's really, really not. Do you know what? Will our husband believe it is his? I mean, considering we asked him to help us seduce the chaplain and now suddenly we're pregnant. I have to wonder. I do, I do, I do, I do. Okay. Oh my word. Do you remember her half-sister who uh, has been in prison now for 16 years? She led a revolt against the previous ruler. Well, we can banish her and get 500 gold. I, uh, I think it's worth it. Well, goodbye. You're, you're free of prison. I mean, you're, you seem a bit of a lunatic now that you're free of prison or from prison. But that's okay. Thanks for the money. So, I had a small issue with my audio in that for some reason in this last part, it didn't, you know, connect. But here's our half-brother deciding to explain things to us. Good for him. We're quite happy that he did that. Nice strong fellow. Thank you. And look at- we're pregnant again. Our husband actually got us pregnant. And then we're pregnant again. You know, more babies. More good? So they're all boys. Why? Why do they have to all be boys? I mean, this is called the Ladies of Ireland run for a reason, you know. Uh, yeah, let's give him patronage. We are very proud of our family. It's nice, prestigious family of Catholics surrounded by all the Norse that are taking over Great Britain. And of course we're in Scandinavia. Uh, we might have trouble in the future. Oh. You have a... Uh... Wait. Oh yeah, we're trying to make a, uh, a lie about our husband. Yeah, no, he's, he's not doing anything bad, so it's fine. We'll stop spying on him. Good for you, husband. Glad you weren't doing anything in too terrible. Uh, and our lovely family member here, Lily the Strongest, she has now lost another husband to disease. That's four of them now. Complications of gout, uh, the flu, cancer, and the great pox. Apparently she's just a walking disease fountain. I mean, do we dare marry her to someone else? I think we actually do. Because, you know, she maybe pop out a baby in a year. Not that she's managed one yet without any of her husbands. At Ireland and Scandinavia. And, I'm uh, sorry, Ireland. Ireland? The Norse version? They are kind of taking over everything here. 
Uh, lovely of them. They're even down Brittany. Yeah, I mean... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We have a headache. We have rash and we're dead. Queen Daisy has given up the ghost at the age of 47. She died clutching at her heart. Well, she freely gave money to her friends and family. A godly woman, Daisy, with the Blessed Virgin now. I don't think it was too charitable when she uh, banished her family member <laughs> and took her 500 gold. But, you know, she was, she was taking someone who didn't need it to give to the nation and build pretty buildings and such, right? Queen Tulip II, having mastered many skills, she is sure to be uh, something by her subjects. Desired by her subjects. 